Chilina. Today is Monday, December 15th. I'm Victoria Murphy. And I'm Christian Yarbrough. We only have a few announcements for you this week, so let's get started. Your winter exam schedule is as following. A1 and A2 exams will be on Wednesday, B1 and B2 will be on Thursday, and A3 and B3 will be on Friday. Don't forget to study and eat a good breakfast. WSL has a meeting this Tuesday in the Sossaman Chapel during lunch. Please be on time. Last Tuesday, the Upper School Band and the Elementary School Choir had a concert directed by Mr. Owens and Mrs. Lantigua. They did a great job. Now here's a recap. How do you feel about tonight? I feel good. I feel, I feel confident. I feel like we've done some good work here. I feel like we're going to be good. <laughs> the most about your student or this class this year? Uh, the work ethic. They really pushed themselves. I put them on some very difficult music and, and they've come and they've surpassed the expectations I've had for them. Cool. Thanks, Mr. Owens. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. What an amazing display of talent we have here at MCA. I personally really enjoyed all the Christmas music. If you want to see more videos from that night, check out the student YouTube. Our winter sports teams have been doing really well this season. Now here's an update from Christian on our athletics. And now here are your sports for the week. Today the girls and boys varsity teams play home against Mount Island Charter School. Tomorrow middle school wrestling will be playing home against Union Academy. And Thursday the boys and girls middle school basketball teams will be playing home against South Lake Christian Academy. The middle school wrestling team is going off to a great start this season. They are undefeated in conference play and Coach Ward is very proud of them. The girls basketball team is led by Coach Parker. In an interview, he has said he feels as though this team has worked very hard and they are getting better each day. Having a lot of young new people on the team gives us a bright outlook. Thanks, Coach Parker, for that interview. The swim team is off to a great start this season. Kirsten, Briley, Jack, and Laurel have all qualified for states. Many swimmers are creating their personal best this season as the swimming, as the swimming season progresses. Swimming is a challenging sport. It takes a lot of upper body strength, and it takes good breathing techniques to get through the swim. Great job to our swim team. And now it's Billy and Becca Edwards for the uh, wonderful devotions. I am the gift that continuously gives, bounteously, with no strings attached. Unconditional love is such a radical concept that even my most devoted followers fail to grasp it fully. Absolutely nothing in heaven or on earth can cause me to stop loving you. You may feel more love when you are performing according to your expectations, but my love for you is perfect, therefore it is not subject to variation. What does vary is your awareness of my loving peace, presence. When you are dissatisfied, dissatisfied with your behavior, you tend to feel unworthy of my love. You may unconsciously punish yourself by withdrawing from me and attributing the distance between us to my displeasure. Instead of returning to me and receiving my love, you attempt to earn my approval by trying harder. All the while, I am aching to hold you in my everlasting arms, to enfold you in my love. When you are feeling unworthy or in love, come to me. Then ask for re receptivity to my unfailing love. All right, I'm going to pray for you. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for letting us have a great weekend. And please let us continue to have a great week. And please let us or help us to apply what Becca just read to our lives. Amen. Thanks, Becca and Billy, for that great devotion. Sixth grade teacher Mrs. Stickley has a niece named Madeline who was diagnosed with stage 4 neuroblastoma in November of 2013. 
She's only three years old and has already undergone chemotherapy, surgeries, stem cell transplants, radiation, and immunotherapy. A little over a week ago, the doctors told her family that the cancer was back and had spread, and they are desperate for our prayers. Please wear a purple shirt or ribbon on Wednesday, December the 17th to support Team Madeline. For every sixth grade student and teacher wearing a purple shirt, $2 will be donated to Madeline's family. If everyone participates, we could raise over $160. So if you want to check it out on Facebook, go to Prayer for Madeline Curtis Nelson. And don't forget to pray for her and her family. Those are all of the announcements for the week. Don't forget to check us out on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Shutterfly. The Shutterfly has recently been updated with pictures from the Billy Graham Library field trip, varsity and junior varsity basketball games, wrestling matches, and the band concert. If you want to buy prints, you can do that there, or you can just download them. That's all your announcements for December 15th. Have a great week. See you later.